And that's, that's what I, I love about living and being in the Southwest where everything is exposed, where, where you can see from point to point and your journeys are marked by the shape of the horizon. It feels like a place meant for migration, meant for movement, where you can tell where you've come from and where you're going. And I know this extends to the rest of the continent. I, it's just that here it makes so much sense. Here it feels like you're, you're in a place where you can, you can map yourself based on the compass marks of what stands above the skyline. But it does extend to everywhere out here. This continent is a place of migrants. Everyone came from somewhere. My children are a quarter Korean, a quarter Welsh, a quarter German, and a quarter whatever else made it this far. And think about your own bloodlines. Think about how many histories are here and go back to the oldest stories. I was, uh, I was talking with a, uh, a, a Clinket woman in, in southeast Alaska who was a, a scholar in her tribe and we were talking about Ice Age stories and, and original legends, uh, emergent stories, uh, uh, story, the oldest stories there are. And, and we, were, we were talking about the, um, well at first about, about how Raven, the trickster god, used to be white and then through a story, through a series of mishaps, he was burned and he became black and she said, this is the story about the Ice Age, that the animals were white and then the glaciers moved back and then the darker animals moved in and the black raven moved in. That some of these stories, these old stories, tell, tell the geologic story, tell memories of Ice Ages just departing and, and the, the glaciers retreating back up into the mountains and Raven going from white to black. Trickster god Raven, she said, was walking along the beach and he, he came upon a, uh, a clamshell that had washed in and he leaned down and listened to the clamshell and he could hear inside the bumping of, of, uh, of people and he was curious so he he drove his beak into the seam and opened up the clamshell and out came the first people. The oldest stories are about arrival, are about emergence, about coming from the ground, coming from a watery underworld, coming in a clamshell from across the Pacific and landing on the coast of Haida Gwaii in northern British Columbia. The stories are about getting here from someplace else about the journey. And that's, that's one of the reasons I wrote this book was, was to look at the journeys to this continent and what was going on here when first people arrived. What was the world before this world like? Because we're talking about uh, archeologically um, probably between 27,000 and 15,000 years ago. This was a whole different kind of world. Now, the, the landscape is not really that much different, and the Ice Age is not that long ago. Even though it's the previous geologic era before ours, it's, the mountains are all in the same places, the rivers are all in the same places. They, what really looks different are the, the coastlines, because when ice was up on land, all that water was taken out of the sea, and so sea levels were about 400 feet down, so the coasts were completely rewritten. I wrote this book to look at that land, to see what it was like 20,000 years ago, what people would have encountered, who came from which directions, who stuck and who didn't, who disappeared and who is still here. 